Good afternoon everyone. It's Sunday, March 6, 2016. This is a solar simulator support video showing you footage that backs up the hexagon hypothesis but doesn't really add anything new in terms of explanatory capacity. So the first shape you're going to see is when I caught the solar object moving between clouds and as it emerged I was able to see the hexagonal shape to it. However, I do end up deeming it ambiguous because there are a number of things that don't quite fit. So one positive factor is that the hexagon fits better. But there were a number of times where there was a circular shape or no shape at all, so you could say that I was cherry picking too. Uh, there are clouds over about half of it, but on the positive side, the three angles that are outside of the clouds are among the sharper ones. I had a little better luck with the next one I caught and even though it was under significant cloud cover the shape of the hexagon was much more apparent and when I superimposed both a circle and a hexagon the hexagon fit quite a bit better. Uh, it is under the clouds and it does have rounded corners but the rest of it is pretty intact. So the next thing is taking a look at what I was calling the little white sun and what I guess I'll continue calling that. It did appear twice, uh, not terribly clear, but there it is. And I slow the footage down quite a bit so that you can see it there. Then it goes through a period where the solar object passes between the clouds. And the next one that you see is going to be fairly difficult. It's it's just the upper rim of the little white sun, but it's pretty clear that that's what it is, so you have to kind of pay attention. I'm going to zoom in and put a filter on it too. So there it is appearing just above the sort of gray spot in the filter, and it disappears again. So one thing I noticed also was that there was variable intensity in the size and shape. Now that could be variable distance or it could be variable power, don't quite know. You can take a look at this first one where the solar object passes between the clouds. There's nothing in the way of the view and it's quite large. Now compare that to this which actually I'll show it dimming uh, while it's not covered by anything. And take a look at the size of this particular instance of it. It's much smaller. Finally, some additional support shows that it's probably not in space and rather close. You'll want to take a look at the clouds and in particular how they light up as the object gets closer. The lighting behaves in a way that indicates that it is much closer to it than far away in space. And in particular, this next, uh, this next clip is going to show the solar object leaving the clouds. It will move into the bottom section of the cloud. And as it does, you can see it lighting it up from the inside. As the solar object moves further down within it, the light rays shoot only upward which indicate that it's possibly nestled somewhere within it or also possibly behind it and the rays are catching the cloud and moving upward but we don't see the rays moving off to the side or anything so take a look at this right here it looks like it's actually within the cloud from our perspective that's all I've got for you today uh, no updates on the actual hypothesis just additional footage and support. Thanks for your help everyone. Take care.